Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 31st of 2024 is titled Total Solar Eclipse Below the Bottom of the World. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see a total solar eclipse off in the distance there. And that dark spot in the middle of the bright light is our moon. Now our moon sometimes can pass directly in front of the sun. And that means that the moon's shadow will cast out into space. And when it does that, and the Earth, moon and sun are all lined up just right, that shadow will actually reach Earth. And where it does, the moon will block out the sun, making it nighttime in the middle of the day. And will that shadow will reach Earth. Now, it's not always easily visible. And in this case, for 2021 eclipse, in order to really see it, you had to be way down out over the southern oceans of the Earth. And here we see two airplanes, one of which is where this picture is being taken from. And you can see part of the wing and engines there. And another one off in the distance, just beyond the wing of the first plane. Now, in order to see this over the ocean, there are several ways you can do it. You can travel either by ship into the ocean to be able to see it, or through a plane up high in the atmosphere to be able to see the eclipse. And that is what is being done here. So some eclipses can be seen from the ground. Others may travel over areas that are not easily accessible on the ground, maybe over water, which is, of course, three quarters of Earth's surface. So in many cases, there are trips planned to be able to see the eclipse and to be able to travel, whether by a cruise ship or in this case by an airplane to be able to travel to the area where that eclipse will be visible. Now, during the eclipse, things that would normally be very difficult to see are sometimes visible. In fact, during a total eclipse, you can see stars in the sky. Now, as long as the day is clear, you're able would be able to do that. And if you look just to the right of the eclipsed sun here, you do see one bright object, one star like object. Now, in this case, that is not a star that is actually the planet Mercury. Were the sun not being eclipsed, Mercury would be invisible because of the overwhelming brightness of the sun. And in fact, Mercury is the hardest of the planets to be able to see because it is always close to the sun in the sky. It has a very a small orbit, always close to the sun. So it can be seen sometimes just after sunset and other times just before sunrise, but always in that haze that accompanies the sunrise or sunset that glow of the sky, making it very hard to pick out from the uh, from the overall brightness of the sky. Now, of course, we have another eclipse coming up in just over a week on April the 8th. And that eclipse pass will path will cross North America, uh, going from Texas and Mexico and then up through into uh, northeastern United States and into northeastern Canada. So areas around there. And if you happen to be on the path of totality, you will be able to see an eclipse like this. Now, if you're not on the path of totality, you will be able to see a partial eclipse. And the closer you are to that path, the more you will be able to see eclipsed. So the closer you are to the path of the eclipse, the higher percentage of the sun will be eclipsed and the darker it will appear during that time. So that was our picture of the day for March 31st of 2024. It was titled Total Solar Eclipse Below the Bottom of the World. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Black Hole Twister. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.